Radio. So welcome back to another video. Uh, this one is the penultimate video of my outdoor season because we're going to Cali. Uh, we're at the airport, obviously, and we're going to Brian Clay. Uh, I feel like everyone's going this year. Uh, this was like a massive year for them, apparently. Like I was getting emails like two weeks ago saying like, oh, we've had so many more registered than last year. Kind of freaking me out, but nope, did get in. Um, I am in the morning section of the 5k, which kind of sucks, but it's still a really deep race. There's like 20 guys between 14.16 and 14.22, so that's going to be uh, my first race, and then I'm backing up for the 1500. They haven't released the field for that yet, but my 347, hopefully, fingers crossed, will get me into a really good section. So yeah, ready to roll. I'm in some great shape. I'm in better shape than I was when I ran my PRs, so I'm really hoping I can, yeah, hopefully have another step forward, but... I've also understanding that I've already taken a massive jump this year and I'm super grateful to be where I am at and you know I'm just going to be uh, yeah practicing what I preach saying nice and relaxed and kind of just you know not setting any expectations for myself just going out and doing the best I can on the day um, it's been absolutely miserable today in New Orleans so I'm going to be soaking up that Cali sun and yeah definitely going to enjoy um, some less grim weather. I barely got to the airport because of the flooding, so that wasn't great. And yeah, I just got patted down pretty uh, softly by the security here. Always happens though, but yeah, no. Uh, I'm gonna go to Cafe Du Monde and get some beignets and a coffee because I'm so, I'm so Louisianan. So yeah, that's the plan. It's good for a US coffee. Get me back to Australia. I need that Aussie coffee. Carefully read the exit row selection criteria and functions on the back of the product. Please let us know if you need. Finally got to LA, about to get my bag, and then got to get to the airport. I'm gonna shake out, so gonna do like four miles. I'm very scattered. There's an Indian place right near where I'm staying, so I reckon that's why we might indulge in tonight. So that's the plan. Uh, yeah, flight was kind of mid. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm a seasoned vet, and it just felt like it took forever. But I had the what's it called? The emergency exit row, so that leg room is nice for the for the pins. But yeah no. Right yo, so we made it to the crib finally. It's about 9 p.m. which is about 11 p.m. dollar time, so it is quite late, but about to head out for a shake out. Um which, yeah, no, obviously, even though it's late, it's always good to shake out the legs post-travel, especially being a bigger body. Um, I definitely don't travel super well, so make sure we shake everything out today. Um, I'm staying in, like, Arcadia, which, if you know, there's a big high school meet that was on recently. Um, shout out Brady Mullen, Infinite Threshold Gang, um, and Courage Cullen. Um, but, yeah, no, so I'm going to go use their track tomorrow, if I can get on it, um, for my pre-meet. But apart from that, I'm going to go for like three to four miles right now. Then I'm going to get some tacos, quick room tour. Um, obviously, you've got the mirror, dresser, already got all my shit everywhere. If you want to see how many supplements I'm taking, there's a little, uh, I guess, insight. Um, and then big as TV, deluxe bed, which I'm so excited for. Um, and apart from that, air conditioning, closet. And it's like a house. It's not actually like an, uh, a hotel. So there's like a kitchen. And shit, which is uh yeah, gonna be very very good because it means I don't spend so much money on food. So with that, uh yeah, let's get this shake out cracking. Run done. Time to grub. Good morning. So yeah, obviously next day, um, pre-meet. So we're going to go do 
um, my classic pre-meet, which is like two to two and a half mile kind of jog, and then into two by 600 at threshold off 200 meters jog, spike up, and then three by 200 with the second one kind of hard. So that's what I want to do. Um, they haven't got the track open today for pre-meet, which kind of sucks, but they have events on today. So I'm going to try and sneak on Arcadia's track, Arcadia High School. They have that huge high school meet. So I put the fit, um, the LSU fit. So I guess my plan is that if they try and kick me off, I'm just going to like kind of throw like the LSU card um, and be like, yeah, no, like I'm here for Brian Clay, whatever, whatever. So that's like my thought process. Also scouted a nice little coffee spot for after. So yeah, pretty keen. Um, and yeah, no. Nah. Alright, so couldn't get to Arcadia, uh, they had some high school something on, I don't know, so had to flip and I'm just going to do my pre-race threshold around a random park, so it's not ideal but old me would have freaked out about it but this is new Matt hand so, so yeah no, uh, we should be right. Radio. So about to go for my second run of the day. I'm just going to do a two mile shakeout with some strides. You might be wondering, Matt, why are you running twice today before a race, especially my biggest race of the season? Well, answer to that is uh, pretty easy, actually. I double pretty much every day. So want to stick to that routine. Obviously, don't make the body, you know, go out of whack. And also I find um, if I break my shakeouts into two runs, I always feel a lot better. Um, I guess, yeah, especially someone like myself, um, I get really locked up really easily. So it's really good just to keep blood flowing, um, all that kind of jazz, keep the muscles turning over. So that's probably why I'll do some strides tonight as well, just to make sure um, I'm moving as I want to be. Um, in this video as well, I think I'm going to stop gatekeeping what I do quite as much. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit more open. Uh, so yeah, with that, I'm going to show you my prehab routine, especially if you're a bit of a lanky bloke like myself. Um, this could be a game changer because it's, yeah very much loosens that lower back, those hips, and even like the adductors up a lot, which are definitely um, some, pro, you know, some troublesome areas for myself. So yeah, we'll take you through that right now. Radio. So this is my nightly uh, sub side take, starting off with just creatine, uh, uh, HMB, uh, magnesium zinc aspartame, uh, basically just like a bunch of like roots and ashwagandha and stuff like that. Um, this is gatekeeps but nitric oxide. This is light work. 
I've been taking a lot of supplements my whole life. This is the most I've ever taken. Um, you'd hope so. But, I don't know. All worth it to be good, I guess. So if I break 14 tomorrow, this is why. Nah, I'm kidding. Ah, boy, oh boy. Okay, time to go back watching YouTube. Radio race day. It's uh, six thirty in the morning. Um, just need to take my supplements, do all my pre-race stuff, and then yeah, no, leaving at seven fifteen. Super excited. Um, pretty nervous to be honest. This is a really good opportunity, but I know I'm gonna take full advantage of it. And even if I don't, I've had such a good season that you know I can't be too disappointed. Just gotta leave it out there. Perfect weather, and yeah, no, so. Yeah, this morning what it'll look like is I'm going to do some mobility, um, I need to take my pre-race supplements, which I take two and a half hours out, so that's bicarb and nitric oxide, um, and then yeah, from there, go to the track, um, I'm actually been getting a lift of the Libscom coach, go Bisons and whatnot, and yeah, no, so that's the kind of plan this morning, so as always, I'll take you guys along with me. So all of that is going down the hatch, like right now. Um, tip of bicarb, if you don't get the modern bicarb system, just make sure you eat something very dense in carbs so then you don't shit yourself. Pro tip, one last thing I need to do uh, before doing a bit of mobility is my Nerza. I've been using a Nerza for quite a while now and uh, yeah, no, it's honestly the cleanest and the best pre-workout I've ever used and I wouldn't be saying that. Um, yeah, if I didn't believe it, especially because I'm so into my supplements that I, yeah, I generally do think this is a really good product. So yeah, if you're looking to pick some up, um, link in the bar and the description because yeah, definitely would recommend, um, got spikes, everything, time to roll. Radio. So after getting through all that yapping in this video, you could definitely tell us by myself a lot. Um, yeah, finally got into the race. The open B heat one of the five k. Um, the morning section. Um, I was eleventh seed with fourteen eighteen. So definitely a very deep field. Um, definitely a very good opportunity to run fast. Um, but unfortunately didn't have a pacer, which you can see as this waterfall comes across, everyone's looking around and bang. Arms come out, everyone's running the spot for a second, and as soon as that happens, I'm like, oh, stay calm, stay calm. You just got to stay as relaxed as possible in these situations, because I, uh, yeah, literally couldn't get out, and we went through in 35.5. So, that kind of sub-14 aspiration I might have had going in, I was like, all right, well, you know, that wasn't ideal. What can we do now? We can stay reactive. We can try and make sure that we don't miss a move, and we need to get out of this spot. So, that was the first thing I kind of, yeah went to do plan of action was I need to get out and I need to get closer to the front because that's where I believe I should be. Um, I want to be competitive. I want to race. Um, so as you can see, I'm in that white and navy singlet trying to make a move up almost in lane three. Uh, that's obviously the issue with having such a deep field is that having so many blokes around the same ability. Everyone wants the same positions. Everyone wants the same spot. Shout out to these Alabama guys though for taking it out early. As we go through at about 2.49, so we did get it moving after the 71 fir second first lap. I went through at about 2.52, which is, uh yeah, pretty solid. It's right on my PV pace. Um, I wanted a little bit more, but um, in the second K, we got really moving. Um, we ran some 67 lows, and we actually ran a 66.4 as well. Um, which, yeah, definitely sorted a few people out as that main chase pack has dwindled to about 15 now. Um, I was feeling really good. I liked how, yeah, we're finally getting to the rhythm of the race, um, which is what I came here for to try and run fast. Um, and as we go through 2K, the front guys go through in about 538. 
and I'm right there in about 540, so 248 second K. This is coming up to a 3K, and I was feeling really good. Um, I guess the main issue I had was like my legs just felt like they just didn't have that kind of extra pop. I felt like I was fine at the pace, um, but I was really trying to move up and make sure I was going to be right there when the move was made. And as you can see, I almost went to lane three again to get up, but I just couldn't move out. Um, I have a feeling just all that surging early might have cost me a little bit uh, later on in the race. But yeah, we went through an 831, which felt really good, and I definitely knew I could at least maintain it. Um, so this is coming to 4K and you can see that group of four have broken away um, from, I guess, this chase pack as we go through an 11.24. So it was a 253. So a bit of a slower split there. Um, and this is coming into the home straight. Um, that Adam State guy in second I was sitting on before and he kind of crosses the line at about 14.03. And you see me uh, sprinting for the line there, trying to yeah snag as many milliseconds as I can and bang. 14.10, another 8-second PR, and yeah, really can't be disappointed, but uh, maybe it was a little bit. Radio, so post-race, um, fairly happy with it. Um, I mean, 8-second PB, 14.10. I mean, if you told me in the beginning of the season, I would have run 14.10. I would have told you absolutely not, but I'm actually kind of disappointed with it. I thought I kind of raced it kind of silly, didn't get out well, and then... I just made a bunch of like unnecessary moves. I miss moves, that kind of stuff. So overall, like obviously I can't be disappointed with a big PB, but um, yeah, I kind of saw I race it slightly incorrectly. Definitely some things to work on, but we have the 1500 tomorrow night. So I've got so long to recover now. So I'll basically be fresh and yeah, we're not gonna make the same mistakes twice. So definitely just gonna focus on getting a good position in this 1500, making sure I go off the moves and being there, being a bit more competitive when I hit the bell lap. So yeah, no, easy done. We're about to go have breakfast with the Lipscomb gang. So yeah. Any shout outs? Shout out to Matt. Really, <laughs> really helped me a lot through the, the race. Um, I mean, like he said, the race went out pretty slow, but nice little PB. I'll take it. And yeah, let's just, we what? have another 1500. 22, what, what was it, 12 second PB? 12 second PB. Bang, so, massive. Uh, yeah, catch us in the 1500 tomorrow.